going to be like two days. All right, so, so what are we going to do? We need action now. So how are we going to talk about it? Are we going to go to the European Union? Are we going to go to the UN? I can turn it. Go, go to the UN. He did say that he supported us on the Casablanca Declaration, that this was a market. We're talking about a market of women and children. He said it at least three times in the discussion. And that this subject is of high importance. So it was, yeah, it was a great, great exchange. So I was born via surrogacy, like uh, like you said, I was born in the USA in 1991. Um, I did struggle throughout my life with identity issues, abandonment issues, and it was only recently through a DNA test that I had really, you know, the tangible proof that I was born via surrogacy. And we've got lawyers, we've got doctors, we've got psychologists, we've got... I mean, I had an experience with it that was kind of, that was bad. But there are other beautiful stories that exist, and I, ac I acknowledge them, and I understand them, and they're legitimate, and they're absolutely legitimate. But it doesn't take away the fact that surrogacy in the basics is just unethical, because we are buying and selling children and renting women as incubators. The declaration was last year. Um... I mean, I feel for infertile couples. I understand that they're, that they're, they're hurting. I understand that they're emotional, and they want children, they want a family, but it's a desire, it's not a right. But children do have rights. We have a right to know our, fam our parents, we have a right to be raised by our parents, and we have a right to know our, I, I mean, we have to write a right to our identity. So you can't step on children and women's rights for the desires of adults. That's my point of view, even though I understand and I feel for these families that are infertile and are hurting. Um, so it, it actually came through um, Lawyers for Children. It's an NGO in France uh, that is held by Odefit. I mean, they, I don't talk to my parents anymore, to be very brief uh, on the subject. And I knew it once I started speaking about it. I knew that, unfortunately, I wouldn't get their approval because I mean, it's difficult, and I understand their point of view. It's kind of like, you know, we, we did everything to have you. We bought you. We, we went through so much trouble to have you. Why? Why are you hating the surrogacy? Why, why fight surrogacy? You know, why wanting to abolish surrogacy? How are we going to make this happen? And, uh, so there are... I'm not against them. I'll never be against my parents. I don't, need, I don't hate my parents. I don't blame my parents. I'll never have anything against my parents because it's not their fault. It's the system's fault. I'm trying to promote this ban uh, in front of countries, you know? I'm not trying to, I'm not against the people that are using surrogacy. I'm against the countries that are promoting surrogacy and letting it legal on their soil. LGBTQ mm -hmm. community uh, for whom surrogacy is... Well, there is no ethical way for me to regulate surrogacy because in the end it's still a child that you're taking away from a mother and it's still a woman that you're renting for nine months and plus because there's the IVF there's the you know postpartum and all that's all that so it's about a year and a half that you're renting a woman so it's still commodifying a child it's still using a contract within in, in which you place a child in the center of this contract you can't regulate that. You can't regulate the selling of children. You can't regulate the renting of women, just like you can't regulate slavery. It so that's how it sparked, I guess. Uh, and last year, so 100 people signed.